Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about a critically important task when starting up or managing your EC2 instance of choosing and properly configuring a security group. Let's launch an instance. Again, in this series, we're working with Ubuntu, so we'll work with the Ubuntu 14.04 server. And across the top, we see the tasks we have to perform. We've chosen an AMI. We are now, at least we could now, choose an instance type. We're not going to worry about that now. We will then configure the instance, add storage if necessary, uh, create a tag to identify this instance to make it easier to recognize from a long list. But for our purposes now, we're going to click on Configure Security Group. There are two main options. These radio buttons allow us to either create a new security group or select an existing security group. Let's first look at select an existing security group. These are three default options that Amazon provides you with. Let's look at the third, Open Ports. We'll click on the Open Ports box, and we'll see that there are five rules that have been defined as part of this group. The first is SSH. That is the ability to log in in a text console to your instance through the Linux-based facility of SSH. It uses port 22. And at this point, any source IP address is allowed. 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 will allow any to send traffic using SSH into our instance. That's not as insecure as it may sound. Because anybody who comes in will either need an authenticating password or a valid key pair. So uh, if that's not there, they're not coming in anyway. This security group also allows traffic from HTTP, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or better known as the, the web browsing protocol. If you want people to have from anywhere on in the internet to have access to your instance via a web browser, this is the, 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 the pr protocol you'll need to open up. And it uses port 80. HTTPS is also open. That is Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. That uses port 443. And also, it, it allows traffic in this configuration from 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 that is from anywhere on the internet. That's an example of a pre-existing default group we could choose. We may, might also choose, however, to create our new security group. Amazon offers us a very appropriate warning that leaving 0.0.0.0, .0 meaning leaving your instance open to any traffic from anywhere on the internet, could be a security vulnerability. So be very careful how you define your rules. We currently have the SSH rule, which is pretty much critical. If you have a Linux-based Amazon instance and you don't have SSH open, then you're not going to be able to do anything with it. So that has to, uh, that, that's got to be there. Let's add a new rule. We click on Custom TCP Rule, which is just the uh, drop-down box, or in this case, a drop-up box, uh, that will allow that will in introduce us to all the preset rules that we could choose. Let's choose HTTPS, the Secure Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And again, it's given us port 443 and has opened us up to traffic from anywhere on the Internet. Let's add another rule which is important for our type of installation, a LAMP installation. Add a new rule, click on the drop-up box, and choose MySQL. You'll remember that MySQL, of course, is the database software that we're using in our LAMP installation. Here, Amazon knows that MySQL uses port 3306, and it's given us an empty box to choose what's where we want the traffic coming from. We can choose a custom IP, that is to type in any specific IP address that if we want to restrict access to only data coming from this source. We can set that now. I'm going to type in a random address, and I just hope there isn't any real address on the internet that corresponds to these numbers. Uh, but it's entirely an accident if, it, if there happens to be one. Uh, that's 209, 85, 34, 100, slash 24 for its net mask. And I could choose, therefore, to restrict all 
as MySQL traffic to only that traffic which comes from that source. Or I can allow traffic to come from anywhere or from a particular uh, or from my current IP. That's another option the, uh, the Amazon allows. We now have a rule that will permit traffic to our MySQL database from anywhere on the internet. Uh, we can, of course, set our own authentication restrictions within MySQL or perhaps at uh, the browser level. But uh, the, the, the rule now exists to open up MySQL to traffic from the internet. Let's now give this security group a name. Let's call it LAMP group and uh, a description that is security protocols for LAMP installation. At which will, of course, make it easier for us to find it from among a large list of security groups, and therefore we might be able to use this particular security group on some other instance we may launch later. And we're basically done. Uh, the uh, Make sure that you've uh, in included all the configuration details in the other windows from this uh, instance, and then click on the blue Review and Launch, and you're on your way, and potentially, at least, if we've done this correctly, we're quite secure. In this video, we've briefly explored the user-friendly tools that Amazon has provided us to create secure and appropriate security rules. We hope to see you next time.